Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. I'm Ashling, and um, there's a lot of dog barking and going on outside just as I start to record every time. But uh, today is Saturday and myself and Sally here are having a pretty slow day. I'm just gonna vlog that a little bit. Uh, there's a bit of an interruption to regularly scheduled programs, so I had a video planned for this week, but it's been a bit of a week, and so we're just gonna take it handy. It's really warm in this room. My dog is okay, I promise. She just pants a lot. Uh, so we're gonna take you along with us as we go about our day. It is currently 10.39. I never stay in bed this long. I'm an early to bed, early to rise kind of person, but today, I just haven't had much sleep. Um, I started a new medication during the week and it's kind of causing me trouble at the moment with headaches and nausea and a bit of insomnia, so I'm quite tired. Um, a bit fuzzy brained, so yeah. And then uh, we had some news this week, or rather just a bit of a tough time. So this is Sally and she's 14 and a half and we also have a dog named Bella who's 16 and a half and we had to put little Bella to sleep this week on Tuesday. Uh, she lived a really great full life and she was a lovely happy little pup and you know it's just a travesty that dogs don't live as long as we do right so quite sad about that and Sally's really out of sorts as well so we've just been hanging out a lot this week and taking care of each other and I haven't actually been reading all that much. What I have been reading is um, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare and I do think that maybe I shouldn't have picked this book up immediately after Legendborn because I absolutely loved Legendborn and this is more uh, I guess geared toward kind of a teenage younger crowd. I think Legendborn is YA but this is definitely for a younger audience um, so it's just not quite as gripping I think in many ways it's kind of like it's a similar story ish so Clary Frey is kind of, we'll say, brought into this group called the Shadow Hunters. Um, you know, we find out that there's a lot more to her than meets the eye, and it was the same in Legend Born by Tracy Dion. The main character as well was kind of brought into this kind of secret society. They're on similar threads, and I just feel like Legend Born is probably done a lot better so then this makes this book seem a little bit worse. It's not that I hate it, I also think that it's just been such a hard week here in our house that it wouldn't really matter what book I was reading at the moment, I would probably just not really be into it and I'm like really headachey and kind of nauseated as well. So that's that. Um, I'm gonna get up now. I've already had breakfast. A lovely bowl of wheat, a big can't beat it. Um, so yeah gonna get dressed and kind of get myself going about my day a little bit because otherwise I could just mope here forever and there's no point in that either is there? My parents are actually gone to collect my dog's ashes. Uh, we got her cremated so they're gonna collect her in a little wooden box and we're gonna pop her up on the shelf because I feel like we owe her that much to just bring her back home because she was my best friend for so long and it'd just be nice to kind of bring her back here rather than who knows what they do with disposed dogs. Uh, I just feel like she deserves a lot more than that so that's what's happening this morning. Maybe that's why I feel a bit boof this morning as well, just not really. Yeah, it's hard, man. It's hard when a little dog dies. It's I've been finding it tough. I've been finding it really tough. I really miss her, so. But she's not suffering, so that's good, right? Yeah, look. 
it ebbs and flows it ebbs and flows so anyway little sally and i are gonna get up and go about our day now so talk to you soon <laughs> Hello again. It's Saturday evening now, so I haven't really updated since basically this morning. My brother and his wife and their two kids were here all afternoon, which is pretty hectic, so I didn't get a chance to do a whole lot aside from chase toddlers, which is fine. Still not feeling great, to be honest. I feel like every time I go to make a vlog, it's like, here is me not feeling great and here is why, instead of like actually doing stuff but um anyway so i've been reading city of bones i am 299 pages through so i think it's about 500 pages so we're definitely over the halfway mark i'm finding i am finding it quite fun to be fair i'm not gonna knock it i just feel like maybe i shouldn't read it after a really good book but i didn't know that the last book that i read was going to be really good and this one wasn't going to be so good so trials of a reader right I don't even know that I'm gonna like go through this synopsis of this book because I feel like it's like everybody kind of is aware of it if nothing else. I actually had no idea what it was about in fairness um, but what really attracted me was like the spine of these books like when you have the series on this particular edition it all max matches up to make a picture so naturally I'm gonna have to read them all now aren't I? Yeah. One of the things that I do every day in terms of like my reading habits is I check like Kindle daily deals like every day. I do feel a bit conflicted about it because it's supporting Amazon and I did hear a startling statistic before that um, Amazon are going to be responsible for 80% of book sales by the year 2025. Maybe I'm misquoting that but it was definitely by very soon anyway and um, that's kind of scary but what I can't ignore being who I am is I live in poverty and if it weren't for my parents I'd be in a lot of trouble. Um, I'm on a disability payment uh, so I like to utilise my library and then my Kindle as well to make reading as accessible as possible financially for myself. So I do check Kindle daily deals kind of pretty much every day and I do check the monthly deals and stuff as well so I hadn't really checked the monthly ones yet so today I got um, TJ Clunes Under the Whispering Door and then I got one as well I actually can't think of the name of it's uh, Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies I think and I think both of these books are kind of kind of cosy fantasies um, I did read the House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune before. I thought it was okay and isn't that really bad to say because I know it's like this well-loved book but I loved the kind of whole found family trope. I'm quite looking forward to that. I think I got it for like 99p in Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I got that for 86p and I was looking at that in a bookshop chain recently and it was I think about 16 euro and I got it for 86p so it's just one of those things isn't it we're, we're all trying to do our best and um, unfortunately books are expensive and I'm quite poor so <laughs> here we are we can't do everything even though we may try and I'm not going to guilt myself about not having money but still wanting to read and 
The Irish library system is fantastic, but I do find that I wait months and months and months for books and have no idea when they're going to arrive and also sometimes I just don't have the books that I want to read as well, so I guess using a Kindle is basically another way of getting access to things that maybe I wouldn't be able to access so readily otherwise. You might have noticed if you've watched a few of my videos I don't really do book hauls as such. One because I'm quite resistant to the whole idea of like woohoo capitalism here's what I spent my money on. Like even when I kind of do have money I just don't tend to watch like book haul videos. It just doesn't do it for me. Um, maybe I'm bitter because I'm poor, who knows. It's just not a thing that I do. I don't actually buy all that many books anymore. I, like last year I went through an awful spate of buying a lot of books. So this year's efforts are mostly to kind of read what I have got on my shelves. There's um, there's my TED talk. Thanks for, thanks for listening. That's the great thing about YouTube. I can just pop on here and say whatever the hell I want to say. And maybe somebody might listen, maybe not, but at least I've said it. It's like, it's like therapy, I guess. morning it's sunday it is 9 23 at the moment i have plans this morning to meet my friend for breakfast we were going to go to a place that i've been talking about going to for ages and the one weekend that we decided to go i just found out that the kitchen is closed so i'm trying to contact my friend at the moment to um change up our plans but so far I'm not hearing anything back from her. I have to travel a bit further from her so she's probably still fast asleep. I woke up at like 3 a.m. again this morning and was awake till about 6.30 I reckon. So uh, I got a good bit through my old book. Actually quite enjoying, enjoying it now. I am on page 427 so I've ooh, about 80 pages left to go. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? Like. If you've read this book or this series, like it's a bit of fun. It's not very sophisticated, but um, I'm like getting whiplash from all the like twists and turns. I think I'll definitely continue on with the series unless the ending is like abysmal. But so far, I'm quite enjoying it and looking forward to finishing it and kind of getting on to my next read as well. So I have been kind of stuck between. So my next reads, I'm trying to decide sorry I'm like literally pulling up from a stack here beside me I'm trying to decide between the Dragon Republic and Jade City for my next read I'm kind of veering toward Jade City because I'm looking for something quite a bit more sophisticated than um City of Bones just to mix things up a bit I'll be talking to you later in the week and I'll have picked up the perks of being a wallflower or something <laughs> mood reader smiling Good morning, it's Monday and I am so bad at vlogging. Last time I checked in, I was trying to get in touch with my friend about going for breakfast. So we did that and it was lovely. We went to like a little kind of farm shop, cafe thing, and it was lovely. I got like a veggie breakfast and just altered it so there were no animal products. And then afterwards we went for a little walk around and saw some little pigs, no. We didn't see any pigs. Um, we saw some ponies and goats and some chickens and stuff and, and had a lovely little forest walk and got a coffee and stuff. It was really nice to see her. And then when I came home, I brought Sally down to like a little, another little farm shop, but it's much closer to where I live. And she sat up with us and, you know, hung out just to, um, just to get her out of the house because she's been a little bit mopey with the fact that like she's lost her little companion as well so last night before bed I was knackered but I was like oh, I'm gonna finish this book now I don't I don't care it's getting done um City Bones so there's like a romantic kind of plot going on in here and I'm not gonna spoil what happens but let me tell you my jaw hit the floor I just wasn't expecting it and especially not from like a young adult or teenage kind of book. Fair play to you Cassandra Clare because I did not see that coming and now I'm like 
Okay, I want to read some more. I gave it three stars and I kind of, the way I give stars is just based on my own, purely on my own like feelings and enjoyment. So I don't have any like scientific or regimented way of giving stars to books. But like the first half maybe I wasn't that invested. But by the last, the last 50 pages, my brain was like, holy hell, wow. So yeah, that was fun. Wasn't expecting it. So I'm actually reading quite slowly this month. I've only read two books and we're kind of two weeks through, so a book a week, which is grand. I've had some weeks, but um, I've decided I'm gonna read Jade City next and I'm really looking forward to that. I got it from the library, so it also gives me a little bit of a push to be like, okay, you better read it because you're gonna have to bring it back soon because somebody else is gonna be looking for it. So that's what we're gonna do. So um, as for this morning, I am actually sitting at my desk. I'm up. You'll be glad to know I actually brushed my hair. <laughs> Wonders will never cease. I'm gonna do some kind of little bitty jobs that I've been putting off, like add mini things and I'm actually gonna sign out here because I don't wanna I don't wanna be malingering on this all day and I hope everybody's doing well and I hope I didn't bore you to tears, um, especially with uh, not really giving you any details about the book that I've been reading. But anyway, um I'll chat to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.